do at this time. What up, y'all? I hate that picture looking like that. Okay, boom. I ain't like that. I ain't like I was smeared. But anyway, let me let me let me get some stuff together here. Let me get the misconception that Chief Keith and King Vaughn, they said, oh, they was friends. Him and Social was every court. Man, let me explain something to you when that friendship ended. That friendship ended, let me show you a couple more fishy, fishy things that you got to understand that is not sitting right. And somebody is, somebody's going to die tonight. Somebody's going to die tonight. Watch this here. Now, check this out. We're going to start with this here to prove that King Vaughn wasn't dealing with Chief Keith, and this is why. Look, the only thing folks took was folks' chains, you know what I'm saying? Which is Sosa. Money from my homie Vaughn, right? Like, say we call him, we call him, and we ask him for some money and shit, he said he's gonna give it to him, right? So we said, we said, our homie booked the shit, his bond 25,000. We got 18,000, we need 7,500, right? So the nigga say, oh, yeah, that's all y'all need, woo. I just put that shit on shoes, woo. We all right, 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 why you say it like that though? Now we call him again like a week later or something. Damn, what's up with that money, gang? Like, ooh, you know, we try to get folks out. Why? Yeah, how much y'all need? We need 7,500 and shit. Why? That is a minute ago. I can't tell him. So now I get that. Okay. Yeah, he has 7,500. I can put that shit in the club and shit. Anyway, because I'm sure y'all heard this story a million times, right? Check this shit out. Now, he's talking about Boss Top taking the chain off Chief Keef's neck. Now, Boss Top took this chain off of Chief Keef's neck because of the simple fact they wouldn't bond a certain person out of jail. When they wouldn't bond this certain person out of jail, which at the end of the day, they even rumored to say that the person that they were trying to bond out of jail, supposed to have allegedly been King Von's brother. Allegedly, this boy is on a picture with Silk. King Vaughn, when they little ass kids and Silk standing there with his kids, that boy is standing there, but now they're trying to say that that's not Vaughn's brother. Okay, that's cool. Hold up. Now, allegedly, the guy that Chief Keep wouldn't help get out of jail is right here in this picture. I don't want to pinpoint it, say it's the one back there with the blue or the one with the red, but it looks identical like the one center right there next to King Vaughn with the red, and I'll show you him now. Tell me that's not him. But See how King Vaughn was telling the story. He never said that that was his brother they was trying to get Chief Keith to get out of jail. Now, did he? I understand. I understand. See, but y'all think y'all be knowing so much, right? People think that they know so much and they think I be so wrong. Like I said, I sit back and I watch. I say little things. Certain things I don't say. Because let me, let me explain one more thing to you. So y'all want to say that that's not the guy that's standing up there with King Vaughn on that picture? Y'all want to say that that's not the guy who's standing on the picture with King Von and Silk, right? That's not him. I mean, it could just be me. That's not him, right? Y'all saying that that's not him standing right there with King Von as a child, right? Standing there with Silk, right? Rest in peace, Silk. Rest in peace, King Von. But long story short, don't, need, don't, need, don't bust your brain on that one. Don't bust your brain on that one. Now I'm going to ask one more time. Y'all trying to say that this is not that same guy on the picture with King Vaughn. And you wonder why Sosa distanced himself from King Vaughn is was because King Vaughn was mad at him when he didn't bond this man out of jail. Not only was he mad that he didn't bond that man out of jail, he fucked around and Boss Top robbed him because they are also related to Boss Top. They're cousins. Now, ask yourself, how, how, how could this not be true? Because this woman saying that that's not true, that Trey Fobb was not King Vaughn's brother. That's just rumor. They just happen to have the same last name. They happen to be standing up there with their dad together, with King Vaughn's father together. It all don't make no sense. And then for them to turn around and say that he's Boss Top's cousin, and Boss Top was King Vaughn's cousin, don't that make sense? Right. So why would Sosa want to be bothered? When this family got together, 
and really tried to extort money out of him to get him out of jail, which they end up saying that he turned around and he snitched on somebody, but that's a legend. I don't know that story too well, but I will learn it, and I'm going to tell you more about the story because it's all something to do with what happened, right? Boom. Let's go. Um, E-Dog, the little light-skinned one that keeps saying that he's doing the get-back gang and this and that. Keep an eye on him because that's Boss Top's half-brother. I don't know if y'all know that, but the, the little light-skinned dude, E-Dog, that's Boss Top's half-brother. They saying that this guy was King Von's older brother. I mean, you ask yourself the question, is that him standing there? Don't the mouth kind of look just like his mouth? Just in the kid form. The face looks just like his, just in the kid form. King Von standing right there. They all, they all have on jerseys. Dad got on Jabot hanging back. He hit with a knapsack. Y'all know that Jabot. Y'all know about that Jabot. So, so you know he had money at that time to even have on a Jabot shirt because them shits is not cheap and neither was the pants. Neither was the backpacks. But anyway, people want to say, no, no, no. Him and Keith are still friends. Okay, but how he's going to be friends with Chief Keith when he won't bail out his brother? He won't bail his brother out of jail. Now, I remind y'all, his brother do put in work. Y'all tell me that ain't him. So you get what I'm saying? Now you get why FBG Duck and King Vaughn was not cool. So people was like, oh, they was working on stuff to get back together. No, they wasn't. I'm sorry to say this here. They both feel like the, like like Doug Price felt like your brother killed my brother. Sosa wouldn't even get him out of jail. So they end up robbing Sosa. So now they turn Sosa against him for Trey Five. Now, y'all me tell y'all a brain buster, the shit that really fucked my head up. And I gotta apologize to a lot of my subscribers. I know some gonna get mad. Like, oh, here you go. This is called research. That song, why he told, was not for Little Dirk. That song, why he told, was not for Big Mike. That song, why he told, was for King Von's half brother, step brother, whatever you wanna call him. Well, but, 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 you know what I mean? tell you what's fishy about it? But, but was Boss Top's cousin, too. But they saying that but, but was King Von's brother, too. They're trying to say that that picture that I showed y'all with the three, that's Bubba, but, King Von, and Trey Five standing there with Silk. I don't know how true that is. Anybody who know, enlighten me. But that's, for what I'm understanding, that's what's happening. Rest in peace to FBG Brick. Rest in peace, big fellow. Um, so, if these dudes was all brothers, do you really think that when they robbed Chief Keith for not getting Trey Five out, and you wonder why he don't come back on Old Block, right? That man just got to jail, too. So maybe there will be some get back for King Von after all. But, don't be shocked that they mess around and kill Trey Five. No disrespect to you, fam. I'm not wishing nothing bad on you. I'm not saying that's going to really happen. But just watch the surroundings because they backdoored the fuck out of Vaughn so nice. I don't see them doing nothing friendly to nobody that's affiliated with him or family to him or alleged family to him. And like I said, you look at the pictures. You can say if that's Trey Five as a baby on that picture with King Vaughn. That says it all. You understand what I'm saying? Now, as far as a boss top, I don't know where boss top plays at because that song, Why He's Told, was to boss top's cousin, Bubba, which supposed to be, they saying that Vaughn said that to his brother, not Little Dirk. I can show y'all the proof. Hold on. Not being funny. Vaughn says message to THF Bubba, his brother, asking why did he snitch? Now, 
I got other other people that confirmed this story and said he's talking about bro, bro. They even threw me the name Trey Father. That's how I started doing the, 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 the lookouts. I'm sorry, looking. I'm like, oh, wow. Oh, wow. But I remind you, the dude that he is dissing on this song is Boss Top's cousin. What if they all flip the script on this man, bro? Man, listen, bro. This shit is so fucked up. I ain't even going to... I'm going to leave it right there because I want you to remember what I just said. Now, God remember, he dissed Chief Keith for Trey Five. Boss Top robbed Chief Keith for Trey Five. They all supposed to be brothers and cousins, man. Did anybody know that? Did anybody know... That Trey Five, THF, and, and notice the name, THF Brubba. So THF Brubba. Man, all these people is affiliated. Like, he's down with Bezuna because he's THF, but it was Von Brother. But if they saying that he snitched, and Von making songs saying he snitched, and, 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 and from my understanding, for them to say that Trey Five Snitch, I heard that that's all propaganda started by another fellow rapper with the name of Capone, allegedly. I'm not saying that's true, false or not. But I heard that's where the rumor of Trey Five. Trey Five, if that's King Von Brother, he just got released from prison not too long ago. They probably released him just with the intentions to go out and kill more people. Because that's all that's been happening in Chicago. Ain't nobody even trying to solve none of these murders or none of this here. And people acting like that's just normal. Oh, that's just how Chicago is. No, the fuck it's not. So nowhere in the world be like that to have a law enforcement and a police department that all these murders going on ain't nobody solving nothing. Everybody just saying, oh, that's just because. And then they turn around and make a whole documentary. He had eight bodies, but the detectives ain't know he had eight bodies. Unsolved bodies. And get down the whole rundown, all the witnesses, but the police couldn't get none of that. It's cool. You know what I'm saying? No snitching rule is in effect. I understand that. No telling policies is in effect. I understand that. But just understand, if somebody run up to your little child and blow his head off, no disrespect to anybody, would you not want somebody to step forward and say, hey, I'm going to help your child? Or you just want that to just say, no snitching. Let the little child get buried, leave it alone. That's just one to grow on, because I don't know what I'll do in that case. But anyway, I'm just enlightening y'all that why he told, it was for his own brother. Ain't that a bitch? So all this time, everybody was like, oh, no, it's for it's for little Dirk. Y'all know if it is, I'm going to keep that funky chicken and be like, yup, that song was for Dirk. But I'm sorry, y'all. I'm doing my research and I'm getting deep with it. Like they say, you know how people get closer to things? I'm a little bit closer to where I need to be because now it's a whole other thing that's going to pop off. And like I said, He said that when his brother get out, he's going to be dangerous. I wonder if his brother is still in jail. He said he snitched. I know the other brother just got out of jail, Trey Five. Boss Top. That's why Boss Top to myself, oh, I feel like everything, because you know that you're home now, and you know what time it is. What's going to happen? Because, I mean, Boss Top robbed somebody for Trey Five already, which was so sick. Then they turned around and said that the man was a snitch. That's on the strip. They wanted to, I guess... Kill his street credibilities. I don't know. But hold on, y'all. Let me call and say what's up to one of my subscribers real fast. One more thing. And then go look at the videos of Muwap dissing Trey Five. Boy, Trey Five ain't to be played with. And allegedly, that's King Von brother. If Muwap was so down with, with King Von, why would he be dissing King Von brother right now? Ask yourself that. And trust me, why you think Boss Top went so hard to go rob Chief Key for the chain? That was their family. That was that was Vaughn brother. Hey, let me call my subscriber. Listen, y'all. Let's shock him. Hi. This is your call, Wilson. Oh, man. If you'd like to leave a name and a number, I surely will return your call. Thank you, and may you have a blessed day. Hello, hello to you and your husband, boo. Tell him I said, what's up, man? Like we always do at this time, my brother. I just call to check on y'all because y'all my subscribers and I do understand that y'all watch me. And I wanted to let y'all know I'm a real brother. I do real things. So I'm calling you. 
I'm sure you see my number. This your boy Costa Dom. Thank y'all so much for subscribing. Thank y'all so much for watching my videos. And I will be back in touch with y'all again. And tell your husband I say, what's up, man? What up, bro? What up, bro? <laughs> Peace, y'all. Hey, they wasn't there. But y'all got, hey, y'all my witnesses. I did call, right? But anyway, y'all, I'm out of here. Holla at me. Leave a message, you know what I'm saying? Leave a comment down below. If you ain't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. If you want to get in, let me call you. And we talk on the live videos and all this stuff. Leave me an email. At my, my email is KillerCast, that's K-I-L-L-E-R-K-A-S, 84, at gmail.com. You could always leave me a message there with your information, and we'll touch bases, and we'll talk from there. And when I do got the time, because trust me, I got a long list like Santa Claus. When I get to, when I get to you, I will reach out to everybody. I, I, when I get the time, I will, I will, I promise. So, people, if I already talked to you, I'm sorry if I can't talk to you again back to back because I got a long list. Not that I'm trying to blow you off. It's just I got to keep it pushing because, um, hey, time is limited. We don't know how long we're going to be able to do this. So, hey, man, it's your boy Kyle Sadan signing out. I salute you and I will hate to shoot you. Peace.